everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video on my go-to beauty products. And this is all pretty much makeup in different categories and things that I reach for the most. I really like this tag and I think it's really useful to see what other gurus are using the most. And you want to see, it's a little different from just your monthly favorites or your all-time favorites. This is what you are getting the most use out of and what works for different people. So I really want to do this video so you guys can see what I like to use the most in different categories like on your face, eyes. Uh, brushes and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna get right into it and show you guys what products I use the most. Okay, so the first category is primers. And if we're talking about face primers, I don't usually use this very often, but if I do, I will go for my Rimmel Fixin Perfect or Perfect, whatever you prefer, uh, foundation primer. And what this does is you put this on prior to foundation and it just helps blend out the foundation so it's just easier to spread and blend into the skin. And then for eyes, I tend to go for my L'Oreal Decrease. This is an eyeshadow primer. I love it because it keeps my eyeshadow lasting a lot longer and it brings out the color in my eyeshadows. You guys have seen me use this in a lot of my tutorials. I'll use this for every day, uh, especially for school, and uh, just to keep my, you know, everyday makeup last a bit longer. Okay, I need to move on. Uh, next category is foundation, and my favorite to use is my Revlon Color Stay, my normal to dry skin combination in True Beige number 320. This is my favorite for every day. I love it. It's really good coverage. Uh, I just really, really like the finish of it. It doesn't make me look too cakey, and uh, I like applying it with a stippling brush. Really good for every day, and I love it. Okay, concealer. I have been loving, if you guys have seen my recent videos, the Alme Clear Complexion Concealer in the shade Light to Medium. And I love it because it's super creamy. I just really like how creamy it is for... A drugstore concealer. It's not that chalky kind that like builds up and like brings out the lines in your face. This stuff has like saved me from looking so tired in the morning. I love that. Uh, setting powder. What I reach for is for setting powder. My latest favorite is the Mineralized Skin Finish uh, in Medium Plus. This is by MAC. This one you just can't beat it. It is the nicest, it's such a fine powder, but it's enough to give you just that flawless finish and has a little bit of a sheen to it without being too shiny, but it just really, really is like such a beautiful finish on the skin. I love, this is like my favorite face product at the moment. Next is blush. Blush, I am totally, I've been so into this color and this is Mai Tai by Milani. This is a drugstore blush. And I've been reaching for this a lot. It's not too in your face pink, but it's just enough to look to give you a flush of color. So that is my main blush. Then for contour and bronzer, uh, I really like drugstore bronzers when they're not shimmery. And if I'm gonna do contouring or bronzer, I always like it to be matte. And so I have been using the Rimmel Sun Bronze in 22, and it's this here. Nice matte bronzer. So that. And then cream highlight. Okay, uh, cream highlight, I like to do, this is my favorite combination. What I do for cream highlight is I take this color here. This is Shell by MAC, and this is a frost. I focus this on the apples, the high points of my cheek here, and under the brow bone. I put that down and then I take my Mineralized Skin Finish in By Candlelight and I just take that and I focus it on top of that cream highlight and they, since I had a cream down and then I put the, this on top, it just, on top of each other and you layer it, it is so pretty and gives this nice glisten when the light hits. I love that combination. This is my favorite. A mascara, you guys have also heard me talk about this, uh, L'Oreal Voluminous mascara. Usually I love carbon black, but this one I got in blackest black. To me, you can't, I can't really tell the difference in them. I uh, just love it. I like the bushy wand 
and it's very thickening and lengthening. I just found a mascara that really works for me. Eyeshadow. Lately, my everyday has included vanilla here. And this is a satin color. It's really, really nice creamy white color that I put all over. Another one I love is Espresso. It's a nice medium warm brown. I like to put that in the crease just to give some definition. And then another one I love is Sketch because I love purples. Purple is my favorite color. And I like to just add a little pop of color. It's a nice rich plum color. And I like to put that in the outer V. So those are my three go-to eyeshadows for every day. Um, and so, yeah, those are really neutral. I love neutral colors. Those are my go-to always. And those three I definitely get the most use out of. Uh, okay, next one is eyeliner. Uh, again, I mentioned this before. If you guys know me and you like to watch my videos, Smolder is my all-time favorite eyeliner. I just love the fact that it's so creamy and that it's, I can do a lot with it. Not just put eyeliner on the waterline or on the top lash line, but I can smudge it out. I can use it as a base. It's just really versatile and, um... It's just a really nice inky black, and it shows up really well. I've repurchased this about three times. Probably my all-time go-to product right here, Smolder. So, I got that. And then, okay, eyeliner. I got that. Lip liner. Okay, this is stripped down by MAC, and I like it because it's neutral, and I can wear it with a lot of lipstick. So, it just looks like this, and I'm wearing it today. And... Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It just doesn't, it prevents bleeding with my lipstick and it kind of just gives my, I like to darken it right underneath here. It makes my lips look a little fuller and just gives that illusion that my lips are a little plumper, which is always a plus. Lipstick. Okay. Lipstick, I'm wearing it right now and I haven't stopped wearing it since I've gotten it. And I mentioned it before. Again, this is all stuff I feel really repetitive. Uh, this is Blankety by MAC, and it's an amplified lipstick. It is my, my nude. Like, this is totally my color. I am obsessed with it. I love, love wearing it with neutral eyes, smoky eyes. This is my favorite go-to lipstick by far. Okay, lip gloss is my Maybelline Shiny Licious Lolly Pink Lip Gloss. This is in number 40, and it's by Maybelline. I wear it in like all my videos and tutorials, and uh, yeah, it stays on for a while. Not too sticky. It's a good one. Okay, for eyebrows, if I'm going to do eyebrows, I will just fill in my eyebrows with an angled brush and use espresso. I use espresso. Uh, that's the best color for my eyebrows. I just fill them in really lightly. I already have fairly dark and thick eyebrows, so I don't use too much but if I do fill in my eyebrows, I will just use this color here, Espresso. So, yeah, that's all I'll do. And I'll just be really quick, lightly sketch it in and have a little bit more definition. Okay, makeup brushes. If I had to choose two makeup brushes to live with, an eyes and face one, my eyes one would be the MAC 217. I could do a full eye makeup tutorial using just this brush. You can do so much with this brush. If you do not have a MAC brush yet, I would invest in this one. Or if you're looking to invest in a brush, this one, hands down, is the best brush. For faces, the MAC 129 brush. It looks like that. I use this brush for setting my foundation. I use it for bronzer. I use it for blush. I use it for highlight. I love this brush. Okay, so I just went through everything, <laughs> and I hope that wasn't too fast forward. Uh, these are literally the products that I put a dent in the most and will always keep rebuying, uh, unless I find another substitute, you know, that beats it, but for each category, you guys have seen and I've shown you all the things that I got for the most and use uh, for every day or night, whatever. But uh, yeah, so I hope this was helpful. And there's a bunch of you that I tagged in the sidebar, so go check that out. And if you weren't tagged, I still want you guys to do this video. It is so fun and cool to see what everyone uses and we can compare and see what works for each other. So uh, thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye.